We are rocking and rolling, rolling to the music. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Delicious. <coughs> Let's kick this shit. It's Tuesday, baby. You know what that means. Training some chests. Means I get to kick my titties into gear. And I best believe I'm ready for it. It's gonna be a wild day. In my tracksuit even. Spent the whole day finessing about uh, what kind of protein powder to buy. Don't know why. But yes. I landed up getting myself a whey isolate. Good stuff. Remember these Checkers 6060 drivers I was bitching about the other day? One of them's right in front of me. He just snuck in front of me, actually. But I'm not pissed because he's not riding slowly. You can drive in front of me or ride in front of me if you don't ride like slow puss. But if you delay me, ugh, then I'm not a happy chap. Nice, we made it across easily. Last night we had a little bit of drizzle. This evening we've got clouds rolling over the mountain. They look beautiful. The sun's busy setting behind Lion's Head. Gorgeous. Mm. Truly blessed to live in such a beautiful city. You know, I've been a little bit around the world. I've been to France. I've been to Greece and I've been to Cambodia. Man, the cities cannot compare. I mean, parts of France can, I'll be honest. Parts of France can. But seriously, Cape Town, you've got it all, baby. You've got it all. Pink sunsets. Mm. Views. Everything. Oh. Shit drivers. <laughs> Fun funny. Petrol's going up on Wednesday. That's no fun. Whereas the Americans call it gas. Gas is going up. So I went and filled up my car today. Filled up my car and um, buying protein powder. For all of you other students out there, you know what I'm on about. You know what, I, what I'm tweaking for. You make some money. My dad was telling me about when it used to cost 10 cents a liter. Now, for you that don't know, we work in rands. So if you compare, it's 22 rand to the dollar. Now imagine 10 rand cents, 10 cents, being a liter of fuel. One rand. Being 10 liters. You fill up your car, essentially 60 bucks, of, 60 bucks fills your car. No, six bucks fills your car. Six rand filling your car now, I, I, I don't even know. I think, it's, I think it's like a thousand bucks to fill up my car at the moment. Can't even compare. 
me ranting about fuel. Everyone fucking hates the price of fuel. Move your bunda. Get out of the road. People choosing to cross whenever they want. I conditioned my hair. Change the topic. And uh, it's a little bit all over the show, but it feels nice. Silky smooth. I'm heading to the same side of town that I've been there three times today. Which is wild. It feels inefficient. I hate going up and down to the same place multiple times a day. Where's the petrol? Mm. Anyway, enough about that. I want to um, try to figure out what we're going to train today. Um, bench is on the table. Dumbbell press, as always. Um, and it's between incline press or bench, honestly. I think we'll do a bit of cable, cable work today. You know me, I love my cables. And it's tries. Chest and tries, back and buys. So I'll definitely hit cables. Push downs. We'll do different variations with different bars. Oh no. Stay here. And different handles. I'm not going to do skull crushes because they had a lasting pain uh, on my elbow. It's just not worth it, man. If you find an exercise that like hurts you, genuinely hurts you, I don't see a point in training it. Um, especially when there are other things that you could do to train that muscle. So for me, training any sort of skull crusher with a weight, the skull crusher movement, with a weight above 15 kilos for me, causes great damage in like this part of my elbow. And it's just not worth training. I would rather do a push down or a tricep dip, um, body weight dips, anything along those lines. I weighed in today, so the yesterday was legs and the water fast, the 24 hour water fast. I weighed in at like 0.5 over. Sorry, talking shit, I weighed in at 0.5 under so I think I was 89 um, on Monday morning and this morning I weighed in at 88.5 so I think I think that's one and a half pounds or one pound but to me that's just water weight to be honest I don't actually you know what I lie I saw a significant difference I could tell that I hadn't eaten that day. You could see it in my in my stomach. There was little to no bloating. Allowed me to see maybe a, a better representation of my body fat percentage. I think I'm probably sitting at 22%. I was having the argument with my brother earlier today. He reckons he's 12 or or 11%. I said he's wrong. I believe I'm, and he says that I'm 18%. I very much doubt I'm at 18%. I think I'm closer to 22 to 24. It's quite hard to tell. And also, I don't believe so much in the pinch test. It's, if you ask me, it's a little bit of a bullshit test. I 
far prefer the submerged test, but that here is a very expensive test to run. I actually don't know where they do it. They definitely don't have the facilities for it where I've been. That concludes the car rant. We are about to head into the gym. So I will see you guys inside. Peace. Well, that concludes the car talk. I will see you guys inside. Today is a chest day and appropriately we're going to start with some massive dumbbell press. Just want to warm up my arms a little bit first though, to be honest. So last week we repped out 32s or 34s, one of the two for a max, and that was pretty solid, but um, I'm aiming for 38s, just like I'm aiming for 100 on bench. It's going to take a while, but uh, I just need to be consistent with how I train, especially if I want to, if I want to boost up six kilos, um, I'm going to have to consistently train dumbbell press every week, probably for at least a month and a half. I reckon if I if I do it every chest there for a month and a half, I'll be able to push it. So today, I'd be happy if I could press thirty twos again. We're going to work our way up there though. Yeah. I'm just gonna put this where it's not on my neck. There we go. That works for me. Okay. I reckon we go 20, yeah, maybe 28 straight away. I reckon.
28 for 8, pretty solid, quite a short interval of rest. I think that was like two and a half minutes. I actually probably shouldn't push it just yet without warming up my shoulders, that might be a little bit silly, so I'm gonna do some raises quickly. <laughs> Sweet. Um, no, no. There's no ways I can press. Yeah, I can do 30s. 32s. What are you going for? 32s. Oh, so easy. Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay, it's maybe 34s. Okay. How many reps did you get there? Like quite a few. It was like four, 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 five. Was it six? Okay. Okay, I'll take a break and then I'll come ask you again. Shot. Okay, those 32s moved really easily. So I'm happy. Very happy with how those went. Um, maybe we can push 36s. Give myself a proper break. So, so far we've done 20s, which is a warm-up set. Uh, where nothing, it was just all of the arms and chest. Then 28, now 32s. So that was a four, and then yeah, four kilo increase each time. 36 is probably achievable, and that is definitely, that's a PR. 32 wasn't a PR. Yeah, let's go. I think, I'm sure I can get these, fuck it, let's go. Okay, thank you. Push, push, push. Oh, yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. One more, one more. That's it. Nice and slow. Okay, so like one. <laughs> huh? One or two. When did you assist? Thank you very much. Oh, oh, oh. I did not expect that. I really did not expect that. That was peak performance. Thanks to Sami. Oh, I would have never nailed it as that. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, that's enough of my ego left for the day. 
uh, I reckon we just go pump him down another set, maybe like 10 or 12 at twenty six kilos, yeah, something like that, just so that we get those presses out the way. What's up? Unfortunately, my phone is on the lower side of 20%. So I'm just gonna record what I can. And the rest you're gonna have to pretend I did. I can record audio though. And talk you guys to sleep. Ooh. Not gonna lie, that's really heavy. Take it down to a plate and just wrap them out. Broken, fucking broken, cut.
accidentally switched off my mic. Fuck. Getting fucking juicy. Ten percent battery, but I'm sure that we can get some more footage. the single plate and it fucking kills me. Nothing of this shit. 
going on to press. And action. Get that burn and squeeze. You know, something about an incline smith press just fucking hits the right spot for me, actually. How's that look, Barry? Fantastic. <laughs> Think so. Thank you. <laughs> it's um, one of my favorite exercises that has actually become anything on the smith. Like, I used to detest doing squats because I just didn't like the angle. Uh, I like to do them free. But ever since I've got accustomed to it, and also accustomed to doing like an incline sh shoulder press and now a uh, bench. It's just, it's so nice because it stays control. You can go as fast as you want. You can rep them out, go fucking boss. But they always proper reps, you know? They're always even and steady. It's just it's different, man. Yeah. Okay, uh, listen, my battery's about to die. Um, so, I may as well just sit here and talk until it does. These chest days are probably my favorite right now. Best workouts I've been getting. I love doing cable flies, I think. The cable exercises, chest presses and whatever. And this has become a proper staple. I'm gonna have a sauna after the session. Standard, get out the sweats. Because I'm not much of a cardio guy. I need to get into my cardio though. Probably get on a, on a bike or something. I wanna try to sort out a cut. That'll be an experience. Watching someone do dumbbell press. His elbow is coming very low down to the ground. But he's a pro, don't worry about him. I got some wrist straps which I'm actually going to give a go um, on this when, I'm, when you die, when you die on them. So I can uh, have a feel at how that is. Maybe I'll actually try it on a, on a free press because the, the bench is open. It might make quite a difference with the stability of the wrist. I've never been one for straps, but it could be quite nice. Anyway, if this thing hasn't died, maybe I can get on a rep or two. Oh yeah, bye guys. Well, using the wrist straps, doing bench, just going fucking wild, honestly, with a with a 15. <sighs> Ah! 
I felt mad solid. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That's a, that, your four was, was it good? Very, very good. You look so good.